everybody, I want to stress the importance of building your list and not completely writing off the deal hunters that might get onto that list. Okay, so let's put this into context, all right? I have written a blog about this and I have to find the link and post it somewhere, but I have already talked about this before. But I want to emphasize so strongly to everybody that is watching this video that has clients or has any sort of business um, that serves people and um, perhaps isn't yet focused on growing your email list because you think, you know what, I don't really do email marketing. I don't really spend a lot of time on that. I don't know what to say and I haven't done it or I have all these emails. Like I've, ha I've talked to clients who say they have like 3,000 emails sitting on client forms that they have not put in their system. And you guys, if this is you, get those emails into, sorry, this exposure is crazy, but get those emails into your system and start utilizing it. Okay, I just sent out, the fall sometimes can be a little bit of a slow time for us. And I just sent out an email on Tuesday evening for Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And we generated with last minute deals, okay? And we generated an additional $837 on top of what we already had, had booked just from that one single email. A couple weeks prior, it was $1,600. Um, we typically can do anywhere, now we don't do this consistently. We don't do this every single week. It's not something that people can predict. We just like burst into their inbox with these last minute offers. And we typically make anywhere from five on the low end to $2,000 from this email. If I wasn't building my email list, if I wasn't um, like actively trying to grow that list, I would not have people to market to for free. Some people that are on our list, they've been from clients, or, or they've been like, they've actually come in, that's what I mean, or they have opted into one of our Facebook ads. Um, really, that's probably the only two ways that people would have gotten onto our list. But once they are there, that is free money, free money, okay? And so when I say don't write off your deal hunters, I say that because I like having deal hunters on my list because you know who doesn't respond to the last minute deals that we have? Our, our high end consistently coming paying clients. Typically they're not the ones that, that come in for that and that's okay because they come in paying full price or, or their members or whatever the case is and that's fine because last minute and cheap isn't their jam. But you know what? I've got a team of people that I want to keep working. I want them to, I don't want to have to send them home early. I don't want to have to close early and all that, you know, reality, all, all, all these things that make that reality. Um, so I want the deal hunters on my list, they rise to the occasion when I send something like that out and now we are $837 in the better because of it. So it's so easy to like hate discounting and not like deal hunters and you know really kind of have like an allergic reaction to anything that's not just legit straight up full prices and all, all this and I mean I get it to an extent especially if you're solo and you're and you're booked solid but if you are growing if you are trying to get going you are trying to grow a team you're trying to break even you're trying to you know really get this boulder that you're pushing like actually get some momentum you need to open up your mind to possibility so Make sure that everybody that's coming into your door, that you have them filling in um, the health history forms, you're asking for their email, you're getting them to say that they're opting in. Um, 
run a Facebook ad. Uh, and if you need help with this, if you, I can help you with this. So if you need some direction or you're not really sure what to do, then reach out, message me below. We can set up um, a breaking six figures discovery call where we talk about marketing and we talk about, you know, what you should be offering and, um, you know, what your real magic number should be in your business. In other words, like what each person should be spending in your business at the bare minimum <clears throat> and all that good stuff. So I just let me know and we can get that call booked in. But I want you to be thinking of any way that you can get emails from people. So what can you exchange to somebody in exchange for their email? So maybe it's an irresistible offer, maybe it's a promo code, whatever whatever that is, um, but you want to do whatever you can to get their emails. And if you're running a Facebook ad, and maybe it's not as successful as you'd like it to be. If you're running a proper Facebook ad where you're getting email addresses, if you're running Facebook ads and you're just boosting and you're not offering something in exchange for an email address, stop the ad and please, for the love of God, reach out to me because that's just not going to work for your business. You need to at least, because I'm not saying when you run an ad, you're gonna convert at 100%. Nothing ever converts at 100%. But what I can tell you is that people that are opting in, you have their email address and the ability to market to them for free in the future. So if you're spending money on Facebook ads and you're not at least getting an email address in return, you need to stop that SHIT and <laughs> reach out to me so I can tell you what, kind of give you an idea of what you should be doing instead. But bottom line is, get people on your list and don't be a hater to your deal hunters because they will fill your schedule when you need it and on your terms if you did it right. So I want, and if you guys do have a list, if you, do, if you guys do actively have a list right now in your business, I challenge you to put an irresistible offer together Download the business uh, breakthrough bundle because I have the irresistible uh, promo planner in there. So go in there, take advantage of those free resources, post your irresistible offer in the group, get a few people to say, yep, that sounds good, and email it to your audience as a last minute offer for next week. And let's see how much cash you can get rolling into your business. Because if you haven't tapped, if you have an email list and you haven't tapped into it, you are just leaving money on the table. So I want to, I want, I want you guys to just go and do the work, put in what you want to get out, build your list. Don't be a hater on your deal hunters and just have a good weekend. And let's see those promos. You guys, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.